we are happy that you are joining in this in, it, in this Advent recollection, but God is more happy that you are here. It's the passage of the word of God that say in Hosea's 11:4, "Let them with curse of human kindness." In reality, God used curse of human kindness to draw to draw us to Him. In this case, He used your friend, your son, the missionary who invite you, the poster that you saw to stay with you. And it's God that in this morning, in this morning, give us thank you for staying with him today. Listen in our heart that he is telling you. Thank you because in middle of many things that you need to do, work, classes, duties, meetings, you have made an option to stop and deep in the meaning of this Advent season. Where is the promise of God in this Advent season? I am sure that all of us want to see and discover this promise of God in our life. I invite you to leave this recollection with a heart open to surprise. It's the attitude of a little boy who is aware of what is happening and wants to discover something new. In the same way, I invite you to open the eyes of faith to discover the promise of God in our life, in the life of our families and in our work. And we will start our recollection with a dynamic. I will invite you to answer the question, how do you want to prepare for Christmas in this pandemic? How do you want to prepare for Christmas in this pandemic? For answer the question, we will show different image that you will contemplate for a few seconds. This image reflects attitude that describe how we want to prepare Christmas. You will contemplate all, but you will choose only one image that describes your answer. For example, I want to prepare this Christmas with hope that the things will be better. I want to prepare this Christmas with the desire that all my family is united. I want to prepare this Christmas with a grateful heart with an attitude of trust, with an attitude of patience in front of our life or the situations, or maybe we need to forgive someone, the desire to grow in relationship with God, with the desire to search for light in the middle of our darkness. I will show the different image for a few seconds and you contemplate the image and think in this question, how do you want to prepare for Christmas in this pandemic? with hope, with patience, with gratitude. With the desire to stay in family. taking different risks. <coughs> With hope and desire that song new is coming.
waiting for something. Desire of peace. Open to, to the surprise. This is the last image. Now, I would like to invite you to participate in uh, sharing what is the image that called your attention and
how you how do you want to prepare this Christmas in one word, two words, uh, or one sentence? Not so long. I invite you to to share with us. You can un my unmute your microphone. You can say your name, the image, and why. We have Lynn Merceda who says the sunrise. Would you like to unmute your microphone, Lynn, and just share with us in a couple of words why the sunrise? We have the image in a collage. Not yet, Mancine, uh, but if you would like, we can. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, good, morning. good morning. We thank the Lord for every sunrise in our life. Every day the sun sets and every day the sun rises. So every sunset, we look forward to another sunrise. Sunrise is hope in the Lord. Thank you very much. Oh, I saw another one. From Regina, the child, to prepare for Jesus with their innocence and humble heart. Thank you very much, Regina. Would anyone else like to share? Good morning. This is G. Good morning. Hi, G. The rainbow. The rainbow. Yeah, because it uh, it is a symbol of hope that gives us the courage to continue to have a positive outlook to the realities we have now. With God's grace fell over. Thank you very much. 